San Francisco uh, doing a post crash review of this Kilimanjaro first gear jacket. Uh, I crashed over the summer in August on my F650. I'm now riding a uh, F800 at the moment, F800S. Um, I'll show you that in a sec, but uh, as you can see this, uh, this jacket really held up. It's only got some scrapes along here and uh, along the shoulder here, but it's really not that bad. The crash padding is not D3O. It's a, let me check real quick. EN16 S type 16211. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, uh, it's not that pliable, but it's kind of hard and stiff. I actually, when I crashed, I separated my shoulder. <laughs> so, uh, that's something to be, you know, take note of, but yeah, I think uh, maybe if it was D3O, it might have held that better, who knows. Uh, I guess I will only know until I crash again, so. Anyway, for the rest of the gear, I was wearing these pants, uh, didn't have any issues, no, I didn't even see if, like, I slid against the gravel or not, where I crashed was on gravel, but. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, this held up. The only thing that uh, I really want to replace this for is just because it's not waterproof. Um, every time I try to waterproof it, it doesn't hold up. So I think I'm going to get uh, probably a new climb gear jacket or uh, something along those lines. So that's just the update for now. I'll show you the bike I'm on. It's the F800S, and uh, it's another beautiful day in San Francisco. Almost forgot the helmet I was wearing was the Shoei RF1000. Uh, I threw that out. That was completely trash. So you'll see the review of this Schieber C3. I got uh, relatively cheap on Revzilla. Uh, I'm loving the helmet so far. And uh, that's just a quick mini review. I like it a lot. And I'd suggest you get one if you like those modulars. Otherwise, take care. If you would like to see more gear reviews and adventures, please press that like button and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.